All right, so here we are in Scarborough, Maine. This is my dear, dear friend, Rich Owens. And uh, we're in the belly of the beast right now, Punch Press. And I'm gonna let Rich uh, explain a little more about that and what we did tonight in this very room. Well, uh, what we did tonight was a little bit of printing. Uh, this is Punch Press, I print uh, radical, uh, uh, Poetries, politically radical, Marxist poetries, often Marxist, a variety of other poetries, uh, often formally innovative, this kind of thing, uh, bound up with uh, various tendencies and thought and thinking, uh, you know, coming out of any number of things, right? Uh, philosophies of negativity, this sort of shit. And so we did a printing project tonight, and this is the project that we did. Uh, Rich... Uh, at a flea market found some astonishing plates uh, and so we matched them together in this particular way and you see Clint Eastwood that's actually a photopolymer plate this here that would have been a zinc plate as well as this even though the date is 1677 this was manufactured in the 1950s I believe uh, we do not know for what purpose but this is the testimony of Elizabeth Flowers we believe and so we did all of this and this is the press that it all happens on, or that a lot of it happens on. I do a, a, a combination of uh, uh, different kinds of printing. I pull things off of uh, laser jet printers, uh, Xerox, a uh, whole different uh, uh, variety of uh, approaches to printing. And here, uh, this just came in. I was relieved when it came in. It was on back order for months, it felt like, at least. It was actually about a month and a half, but I needed it to run books that... Uh, I was uh, uh, working on to try and make a deadline. This came in from Germany. It's a Holbein Breyer. It's amazing. Ten and a half inches wide. Perfect for what I needed to do here. Just the most That's astonishing, the astonishing Breyer. What's that? Oh, oh. And here's the cover. I don't know if this will be visible to you, but here's the cover to Quentin Baker's Diglossic in the Second America. This is an astonishing poem. What I truly believe is an absolutely astonishing poem, instructive to me. It teaches me a lot, and as an aesthetic object, offers an overwhelming amount of uh, 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 this. Of this. Enough said. Ta da.